and then they're all lining up from 6 30 5 30 7 it's like crazy they're like fully camping here in the line to get a test ride Man, what a night. I cannot say I have slept really well. I think uh, in total maybe three hours. I'm not excluding that I might go into a parking lot somewhere and uh, have a little bit of a sleep for maybe an hour. <laughs> found a nice spot but I should pay here and I can't because I don't have any coins but uh, yeah quick power nap 20 minutes something and then <laughs> I'll continue because I am tired as hell so <laughs> I should have known but my plan did not really work because dogs were coming up to me people are screaming children are screaming so I'll just continue my way to Warwickshire and uh, maybe crash on the uh, ABR festival grounds uh, somewhere so uh, I'm gonna continue riding <laughs> Another thing solved on the Google Maps GPS it says 60 miles per hour but on the TomTom -tom it says 95 kilometers per hour so I don't have to do any math here and uh, <laughs> I don't have to put any stickers <laughs> in the inside of my windscreen etc so very pleased with that also very pleased that this is my first ride well not ride but like trip with my motorcycle after the whole makeover and um, oh, I'm so happy to be back on this thing especially with all the new gear the Moscow bags I have the uh, double take mirrors on I have a Perun moto uh, luggage rack on the back which gives me an extra opportunity to stuff some more stuff on my bike very very pleased I mean look at it the colors are oh so beautiful and it's pure coincidence that they had this like greenish the woodland color it's kind of like that greenish with a little bit of a sand undertone in the details so yeah perfect just perfect they will also be at the ABR festival so I'm happy to see some familiar faces and via Instagram I already talked to loads of people who are gonna be there too cannot wait to meet them Let's make it a really fun weekend. Hard work and lots of fun. Yes. All right, my second <laughs> attempt to a nap was more successful. I laid down in the grass with a towel on my face because of the heat. But I have only one hour to go till the festival terrain. So I'm actually gonna hope and I will finish it now.
Okay, let's see. Hi. <laughs> I'm good. I uh, have to call someone to get my pass. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, Steve from a bike thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, but I need it. We have got tickets up here, yeah. so just in case. No. He... I mean, I need, yeah. him, I need him anyway, so cool. <laughs> it's good, thank you. Yeah, if you want to give him a call and then... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If he wants to speak to us, uh, no, if he wants to speak to me, um, and just says it's okay, we'll let you go through. Ah, uh, okay. So I'll, I'll check with him, but good. Whoa, that's loud. Hey, hello, I am at the gate. All right, well, there is Steve and we are heading onto the terrain. Thank you so much. Very nice. I love it too. I can't do that. Very nice. And dusty, oh, is it gonna get dusty as hell? <laughs> Proper sand look for the Desert X. What's an event without volunteers, right? <laughs> so many guys probably here. Not so much women. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, find my me. Oh man, I have so much still to do. It's crazy. It's really big. Already spotted some people who I saw on the ferry as well. That is awesome! That's, that's not the right way in, but... Oh well! <laughs> it's just so dusty when you stay to the track. Yeah, I can imagine! Oh, nice! We're getting there. So, this is day two. Um, <laughs> I probably didn't film a lot yesterday. I'm sure I didn't film a lot yesterday because it was a pretty busy day. Um, also for me to just roam around a little bit besides standing on the Peak Design stand. But uh, today I will try to incorporate some more um, yeah, scenes of the whole festival. It is... where's my phone here? It's almost 8 o'clock. Um, and yeah, let's head for another day of making adventure riders happy with a new phone case. Uh, yeah, that's the correct one. Because the first day I entered on the yellow brick road, it's called. And um, that was like the side entrance for the exhibitors. But uh, today I will take the main entrance. we enter the Moto brand arena um, Ducati is in the back there and you have like all kinds of brands uh, KTM, Husqvarna, BMW, Indian, Energica like there are so many brands here it's they even are lining up in in the morning already I mean I believe it starts at here look at this <laughs> I believe it starts at like uh, 8 and then they're all lining up from 6.30, 5.30, 7. It's like crazy. They're like fully camping here in the line to get a test ride. <laughs> I get lots and lots of smiles. It's so awesome. The sun showed up, people got active in the exhibitor village and it became nice and crowded at the stand real quick.
Tom was kind enough to install my newest addition to the Desertix on the spot. So this end goes into your diagnostics port here. These two just go straight off your battery. Then you have the four circuits for the easy cam, so you can connect lights, horns, brakes, anything you like to those circuits. It's all programmable through the computer. It's super easy. Tom will be working his magic while I return to my peak design corner and uh, Come back later. <laughs> if he uh, gives me like a signal that it's done and it's probably fairly easy for you but uh, yeah it's plug and play uh, kind of solution so I've been looking at auxiliary lights and the bike thing had everything in stock at the stand so I decided to go for it a sick looking combo with the sand color Tom can you do a light show? So it's flashing on the uh, on the screen, but uh, so when you turn on the indicator, the Denali light gets dimmed. Isn't that sick? So when you beep the horn, it goes into strobe. <laughs> That's a proper light show, huh? Mm, you probably won't see it on the GoPro, but there they go, the cutties. They're going for a test ride. Nice. Oh man, what an event, what an event. Um, now on a quick break. And on that break, I of course had to stop at the Ducati UK stand where I ran into a familiar face. This is Marco. I met him at an event on Spa in Belgium where he was an instructor and ever since we run into each other on events where Ducati is present. Okay, so apparently my mic wasn't working as well. So sorry, Marco, I will probably voice over you because I don't know if I will see you again <laughs> today or tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this is like the exhibitor's village. And you can see there are many, many brands present. And I'm gonna take you to the Moscow stand as well. Let's see who is here. And all the bikes on display, like, really cool. Ah, look, it's the dirty, it's the dirty bike from Pate. <laughs> what did you do to it? You got really... Some really gentle riding. Uh-huh. Let me show you some of the Peak Design products and why I was at the ABR in the first place. The quality, used materials and how user-friendly the products are make me a big, big fan of the brand. It uses a soft and a hard locking mechanism with the strongest materials to make a secure fit. And with a variety of accessories, it's fairly easy to use for your everyday life. With different motor mounts and a built-in vibration dampener, I guarantee you this is the only mount you'll ever need. Later that day, I ran into Tony as well. And as you can hear, again, no audio. I'm so sorry about that. Now you may know Tony from his YouTube channel, Man Cave Moto. If not, look him up. He's a great guy and he has made some pretty amazing reviews about almost every piece of moto gear out there. So, it's getting emptier by the minute. <laughs> uh, just said goodbye to Bob. He will also be traveling to Netherlands with a little bit of a detour. And uh, yeah, everyone is gone. Moscow crew is gone. And I'm gonna head back to the hotel. It was one hell of a weekend. I have met so many like-minded motorcyclists, I had great talks with lots of you, and I got to show the awesome product line. 
So thank you to everyone who took their time to visit me in the stand and for meeting up elsewhere on the festival grounds. And now it was time for me to get packing and start my own little adventure. Wales was waiting for me and little did I know that it would become such an epic trip. I'll see you in the next episode.